Hey YouTube, Milma here with another quick UI table view tutorial in Xcode. Um, so in this tutorial, you've probably gathered by the title, I'm going to be doing how to set the uh, image of a row in UI table views. So I don't know if you've seen, like, on, for example, on your settings app, if you go into your settings app, you'll see images next to the names, you know, of, of the... As you scroll down, you on the brightness you'll see a little sun image. On the sound, you'll see a little volume image. So I'm going to tell you how to set those images now. Um, so yep, it's really quick. This is why this tutorial should be really quick. But basically, we just go into here. Um, we go into the dot m of the table view you want to set the image as. You go to self row at index path, and because in the last tutorial we added this data thing we're going to be using that data and looking to its section again instead of having to use the if statement however if you didn't do last tutorial you could always do this if statement if you wanted or you could always use this code whatever um, so I'm blabbing on I'm gonna make some really long tutorial so basically you just sell like that and then you find its image image view like that and you close the brackets once and then you set the image then it's going to be UI image, oops, not a UI menu item, image, UI image, <laughs> sorry, uh, UI image, and then you set the UI image to image named, and then because you want it a string, because we're going to look for the string for the object key here. Um, so we're going to go image named, and then it's going to be one, two, three, and it's basically this. So I'm going to copy and paste this, and paste this in here. And I just copied the brackets, didn't I? Silly me, like that. Um, object at index index path dot section. Object at index index path dot row. Object for key instead of name, we're going to have image, and we need an extra two brackets on the end there. So let me just go back over that. We're going to get the cells image view. We're going to set the image to UI image image named three open brackets, and then it's basically this. We're going to look into the data's object at index index path dot section we're going to look at the section in there then we're going to go to the row that's being called uh, and then we're going to set the image so uh, if we just build and run here doopy doo and when we select dog as you can see here we have our images now as you can see the images are slightly different sizes so that's why you know this one up here looks a bit fatter than that one down there um, now these images are actually quite big, so if we click here, you can see they're resized bigger. So as you can see, it does resize them smaller, so it doesn't really matter what size image you have. Um, so as you can see, here's the cat one here. Um, so, yep, that's as easy as that, just to set the Im image uh, of the row. Um, so, yep, hope you like that tutorial. Next tutorial, uh, I'll be teaching you how to use a UI segmented control to swap between different data sets in the table views. So, I don't know if you've seen in the App Store app, for instance, um, you can have the top free, top paid, top grossing, and they're all that there. You click and it swaps between the data. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, next tutorial should appear here. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. A little pop up thing should appear down here. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't click on. Don't forget to click on any ads in the tutorials because uh, they help as well. So see you in the next tutorial.